What physical swing action are you going to make to make sure it goes left right into the fairway? You want me to give you the honest answer? Yeah. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. That's that's for me. I basically have to feel like I stay in sync. So okay. if I unless my body stops moving, unless my my arm, my hips and my body stops moving and this club passes, that's when big left comes in. Okay. That's so you, when you that's, gotta keep going. Yes, I have to keep rotating. If I know if I keep rotating hard, is it fast? Is it is it in rhythm. In, in rhythm. rhythm. Okay. It just has to keep moving. And I know, I know if my body stops, my arms go this way. Yeah. And that's when I hit the toe hooks. And you lose the tournament. I lose the tournament, <laughs> basically, yes. So I know, so for me, that is just basically, I, I feel like I can swing harder. So that's why I've always felt like I've been a good leader of a golf tournament. I've always felt like I've been a good closer. Yeah, good, yeah. Um, because you can keep hitting it left to right and keep doing the thing that makes you keep doing it left to right actually helps. Because Yes, because when most guys get under Tight. pressure, they go faster. I see. When I go faster, I actually get better because I know what it's going to do. I don't, yeah. I'm not trying to do anything that, that I know I'm physically so, unable to do that's not natural to me. So I would just call it just kind of the, the squeeze fade or, or as like my kids call it, the Darth fader. There she is. There she is. She's going right. The wind stopped. That's okay. So, just to reiterate what you just said there, so you, you, you're coming in and you're, you're rotating hard with everything, and what that's doing, so people know, is as that, as that goes on by, you're accentuating that, and that's putting the face open to the path a little bit, and it's putting that curve on it. Yes.